What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I, I know I haven't uploaded in so long just because I've been streaming. But I mean here, this is a very important video guys. You guys, all of these, all of these, t all, what I'm going to share with you right now will be super important for you to learn how to stream on YouTube. So I will be showing you exactly how to stream on YouTube without any problems, how to add your face cam, how to add your encoder, how to do all that stuff you don't want to do. So here, let's get right into this video. So the first thing you want to click is this create video or post and then you want to go live. All right. Well, so this was my actual like this was one of my streams I already made. But what you want to do now is you want to create a new stream, okay? Now you want to add the title and the, well, yeah, you want to do like all this your yeah, description, gaming, you know, at the thing I don't care here for example here I'm gonna do Fortnite and uh, or just like play playing games games and then um, hello everybody okay there we got ourselves a description now we're gonna add a game title what should we add let's see like a minecraft for example i don't know why i wanted to do that but yeah anyways you want to click upload custom thumbnail and then you do create stream all right now while that's loading you have your chat available now and you have all this so this is going to be very important guys so once you do this you need the receive data from your streaming software and so like the streaming software is basically the encoder and basically the encoder is what allows you to stream and i will be showing you how to do that right now so you want to go ahead and no you do not want to do that okay all right so you want to go ahead and click <laughs> classic live streaming if it will let me yeah okay and once you do that you have like you have a bunch of stuff here so once you try to go live they'll probably say that you don't have an encoder and look all you have to do you see this so what you have to do is have set up an encoding software I'll teach you how to do that so go ahead and you want to click this it will set you it will take you to this spot and there's a bunch of different things here so what you want to do you want to skip all these because they're all crap except this th this one will work but this is not what I'm going to show you what I want it's not the one I'm going to show you about um so you want to go skip all these skip all these skip all these and until you find other encoders so this other encoders will have open broadcaster software now this one will take you to a website with an encoder that's a free an open source software for video recording and live streaming. Now, I'm not using it to record the video right now, but I am using it to like I this is what I use for streaming and so what you, you either have Windows, Mac or Linux whatever, then you just want to click that and then it will take you to, and then it will like <coughs> it will start to download. All you have to do is click run and then once that loads, then you choose where to save it to. You complete the wizard and then you save it onto your desktop like I have here. So now what you want to do now what you want to do is you want to open OBS. So I already have it open over here. And I will show you the tutorial on how to do this. So as you can see right now it's saying my microphone like my microphone like it's like this is my audio like every time I talk this goes up. So that's what that's what, using in desktop audio for example, that happens when you like watch a video. That that changes when you watch a video, okay? And then here, let's go up. Oh, there's no. So it's only mic audio and desktop audio. This is aux. It's audio. Trust me. And then so you have this, and then let's say, okay. So this this is what I have set up for my Fortnite stream, but um, this is what I set up for my Fortnite stream, and I don't know. Like, I have the face cam stuff, and I can do this play capture later. But anyways, this is my AFK screen. These are my AFK screens, and now... Alright, I will be showing you how to set this all up. So, first thing you want to do is create a new scene like I already have. Here. Now, you see this source box? So, what you want to do now is you want to click this plus right here, and then you want to go ahead and click Window Capture. 
All right, you want to go ahead and click create new, and then like if you click add existing, it's gonna do this. So, like don't you don't want to do that because there's no existing window capture. So what you want to do, create new, and then go ahead and click OK. So now it will ask you what window you want to do it. You can choose a variety of windows, and for example, if you want to do, if for example you you want to do Fortnite, then you can like you can like scroll down right here and do Fortnite. Right now I'm gonna show you what you can do here. I'm gonna show you an example. So look, let's say I wanna go over here and, ooh, jailbreak, that sounds fun. Let's go ahead and stream this. So what you wanna do, you wanna open this up. Let's wait for that to load. <clears throat> and then when that loads, you'll see what's happened. So we'll take me to the page, and then it'll be like, oh, military update, that's so cool, wow. And they'll be like, hell about Oh, wow. Okay, now that you're at this page. So what you want to do when the game fully loads, you want to go back to OBS and you want to click, um, you want to click. So it should appear. I mean, you have to, you have to do this before. All right. You have to, you have to go ahead and delete this. Never mind. You're supposed to load the game after. Hold on. No, before. Okay. So, okay. I, I can't explain this wrong. So you want to. Load the game before setting up your window capture. And here, I'll show you. For example, when you do your window capture, you can name it here. Hold on. Discard. Discard. All right, so what you want, you, you can, like, you can name it whatever you want. Let's say, I want to name it Roblox Stream. Okay, here's your Roblox Stream. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. So what you want to see... As you can see, there's a new window that says Roblox Player Beta Roblox. So go ahead and click that. And there we go. You have your Roblox screen. Now you might want to adjust the... Uh, all you want to do is adjust the zoom. And then, yeah, you should you should be able to do this. Just there's If you want to have a perfect fit the screen, just click transform and fit the screen. And there we go. Except you need to like resize it because it's Roblox and it's not working for some reason. It's probably because it's off. It's a bit off. So anyways, now what you want to do, now that you have this up, is you want, let's say you want to add a face cam, all right? So let's, for face cam, you want to go ahead and click video capture device and rename it face cam. All right? Now that you have that, you want to do integrated camera. As you can see, that's me. What's up? And, um, yeah, just don't, don't mind any of this. And then there we go. You got your face cam. And then you can like shrink it. Oops. Okay. You can like shrink it and move around. Let's say I want to. I want to have it here. All right. Well, anyways. Um. Here. Yeah, let's say I want to have it here. All right. Now, let's say you have an overlay for your face cam that you're really excited to use. What? All right. Whatever. Let's say you have an overlay that you really want to use for your face cam. You want to go to image, and then type in overlay. Now all you have to do is you have to browse and look for that overlay, and yeah, just here. I I don't remember where I had it. Oh, here's the overlay. So I found my overlay, and um, yeah. What you want to do? Just lo you got the image loaded, and then you want to press OK, and now you want to go here, transform, fit the screen. All right, now you have your overlay, guys, and now you want to go ahead. And, oops, that's not what I wanted to do here. You want to go shrink your face cam, like it's shown, and then you could fit it into the overlay like this. All right, that's that's how you do that's how you do this part. All right, all right, guys. Now that you have the face cam and the display and the overlay set up, let's say you want to go ahead and add a, a a juicy sub count. So all you have to do is add your browser. All right. And then you could do, yeah, you could add a browser source. And then all you have to do is do the URL. For example, here, let's say, let's say I want to go ahead and do my sub count. So I go to livecounts.net. I type in my channel name. Okay, there we go. And now I load it. So this is how many subscribers I have. I have 69, so close to 70. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But anyways, all right, now that you have that, you want to go ahead and go to OBS and copy that URL. So go here and 
hit control C go back to OBS hit that control V button alright now you want to go ahead and just press OK alright now this you have this now let's say you don't let's say you don't want this so what you can do is you can also transform this and you can like you can like crop it and stuff but I'm just gonna keep it I just I just like it this way, so I'm just going to keep it like that, and I'm just going to add it to the edge of the screen. Like this. There we go. And then you can... I mean, if you want to crop it, all you have to do is, like, scale it. And then, no, never mind. I forgot how to do this. <laughs> I actually forgot. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Now that you have that, well, you have your subscriber count, and all you need to do is... What the heck? I'm not. What? I accidentally clicked streaming. All right, I, that's not what I want to do. So what you want to do is you want to click start streaming, and but, but actually no. First you want to do this. So go to settings. Go to settings. All right. Now you want to go to stream and copy your stream key. Like you know how to do that here. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you. So you want to go ahead and go to your live dashboard, and it will show you your stream key right here. So what you want? I'm not going to reveal it, but um, you want to go ahead and copy that and paste it on here. And now that you have that, it should be you should be good. And um, none of this stuff really matters to make your stream. And all you have to do is start streaming, and then it will load over here. When you started streaming, it will here it will it will say that it's loading a preview. Here, let me here let me do this. Okay, live dashboard. Alright, now it will show a preview and then all you want to do is hit go live and then you should be good. So that's how you stream on, um, that's how, that's how you stream on, that's basically how you want to stream on, uh, PC, laptop, you name it, whatever. That's how you stream on YouTube and, uh, yeah guys, there's other ways too, like, for example, using like Streamlabs or, yeah, Streamlabs is pretty late, I might show you later, but I mean, it's like, I like OBS the best because it's like the simplest, so yeah guys all right guys thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this video and um yeah guys remember we're hosting a giveaway right now as i said on the stream all you have to do is hit that subscribe button like the video and comment down below tilted tower sucks and that is how you get you can get there's two gift cards i'm giving away two 25 dollar gift cards to two lucky subscribers so yeah, guys, and that, that's all I want to say, and, like, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.